Welcome, everybody. Lloyd, you want to get us started here today? Okay. Hey, welcome, everybody, to our normal Friday networking of the St. Louis Real Estate Investors Association. We have our haves and wants and uh, networking, see what everybody else is doing. Um, if you have services to uh, offer to investors or if you are looking for services, we do a lot of uh, uh, referrals here. If, if we got uh, been pleased with uh, service providers uh, um, record of taking care of our needs, uh, please pass them on to, to share with other investors. Uh, before we get started, though, I want to let Laura, uh, Laura Lee, have a little, uh, do a little uh, disclaimer that we, like we normally do here on, on Fridays, kind of new tradition. All right. Good morning and welcome, everyone. First, I'd like to do a bit of housekeeping. Feel free to unmute yourself when it's your turn to speak. Please be mindful of everyone else by muting yourself while others are speaking. You are welcome to put any contact information that you want to share into the chat. We meet here to share deals, look for deals and solutions we have in need with our real estate. We are not your financial advisors, attorneys, or accountants. We do not endorse or recommend any specific solution or contractors here. You're advised to do your own due diligence to your own satisfaction before you invest. The first Friday of each month is Ask the Attorney with Ms. Catherine Davis. Our meetings are typically recorded, so only share what you want others to know. Okay, thank you, Laura. And who wants to start it out today here? Anybody got any uh, thing to offer? And I don't see we got any wholesalers on this morning that uh, has something under contract under for an assignment. I see Jim Choik is on here. I remember uh, you had a friend that was looking for a place in uh, somewhere out West County. Have, have had... I, I don't know. Jeannie uh, was helping uh, with that. Yeah, if, yeah if, I remember Jeannie. Uh, Jeannie, did uh, Larry, a uh, friend, ever find anything that you know of? Yeah, I was um, in communication with him, and his um, friend decided to wait for now. Um, okay maybe a few six months uh, before looking. So he's just going to stay in touch with me if he, if she decides to move forward. Okay. So, you know, all, you know, all I know now, uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I was just curious. I haven't, I was cleaning out my email box uh, er, earlier with this morning before I got on here. I like, oh, is hey, I wonder, wonder if Jim Sprown was ever friend. Yeah, I remember Jeannie volunteered to help him out. Okay, it's good. Um, oh, I see John just put something. Um, we know, yeah, tomorrow's uh, uh, class got uh, not not canceled but postponed. Um, yeah, it was due to uh, there's so much else going on this time of year. Yeah, we we didn't have the the kind of uh, registration folks enough uh, to really make it make it go. We're hoping to do a little better job of marketing and. Probably, I'm looking at some dates in September right now for a, for a, re, a redo of our uh, uh, Real Estate 101 Quick Start. Okay, no, thank you for your registering, John. Um, I'm sorry we couldn't uh, get something together for you, but looking forward to doing it in the future. Yeah, we got we got the uh, materials already printed, thanks to Jeannie and, and um, John for putting the, the books books together and We'll have them ready for the next when we do our reboot on that one. Okay, who's got uh, anybody anything else for us? Um, okay. Well, pretty quiet crowd here this morning. <laughs> I don't know if you want to mention to everyone about the bus tour that's coming up in June. Uh, yeah, that might be something. Uh, yeah, we need to start uh, publicizing that. And we haven't got anything out yet. Uh, we talked about it at board meetings. So, uh, um, yeah, John, you want to mention, you, know, you, know, you and uh, Kristen have been uh, working on that more intimately detailed. 
Uh, do you want to say a few words about that, John? Um, sure. We don't have nothing really carved in concrete or anything right now. Uh, but as far as uh, what we tentatively have planned is in June, um, you, you've, if you were at the uh, February meeting, our main event, then um, you might you might have remembered Peter Hoffman and uh, Tony Gillespie Smith. Uh, they work with the uh, the vacant properties in St. Louis. There's over 25,000 of them. In fact, you might want to go back and I'll see if I can get the link and, and watch that. But they're they work with a lot of properties in St. Louis, and we tentatively have a bus tour that we're going to set up, and we're going to have some speakers involved, people that are directly involved with the communities, but we're going to go around and look at some of these opportunities in St. Louis, because there's a lot of them that a lot of us just don't know about until, you know, until somebody like this comes in and, and talks to, to us about it. So um, we do, I mean, watch, you know, watch your uh, watch your inbox, and we'll be talking more about it on, on our Friday event here, too, um, as we know a little bit more. But we're working on scheduling a bus tour right now. So that's all in the works. And um, that's, you know, there's some good opportunities because there's a lot of uh, a lot of properties in St. Louis you can get for little or no money, you know, very little money, and then turn them into something. So we're going to, uh, you know, a lot of uh, rehabbers are, you know, they're talking about the opportunities haven't been that good in the last maybe year or so because of the way everything was. So this is a way that we can kind of open it up to our members and to, uh, you know, to people that we, you know, that we know here that are looking for these kind of opportunities. So that's, uh, that's about what I know right now. And we'll have, as soon as we have more information, we will get it out to you. Okay. And we're tentatively looking at uh, with June, June 24th right now is uh, the day we're kind of shooting for, for that. And I'll mention that. So. You want to pencil it in on your calendar. Hopefully, we'll get, like I said, John, John said, uh, we'll get more information as the details firm up. It should be a good, a good day to uh, go out and look at, find some uh, opportunities. Uh, see, see where where your next rehab might be, especially for rehabbers and flippers. It's going to be a great opportunity because these are uh, these is there in neighborhoods that are looking for. Uh, um, some turnarounds. There's already starting some turnarounds. Some developers are in the in the area, but there's a lot more opportunities in in the neighborhoods, and and they're looking for additional partners, and that's why they contacted us. That's why we were on. Uh, we we had them in on February. They wanted, they wanted to speak to a, a group of uh, group of investors and know how to know how to rehab houses. So, okay. Um, hey, Lloyd, I have a request. Sure, Amber, sure, Amber, go ahead. Um, so a few weeks ago, I guess it was, um, during that big storm, um, my fence fell down. And so I'm looking for uh, a new contractor, um, well, estimates for um, a new fence. So looking to see if anybody has any recommendations. Mm, okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's back up. Um, I had a guy that put a fence up for me. Uh, I, I think I found him on Angie, or it was Angie's list back then a couple of years ago. I'm not sure if I can pull him up or not. I think I might have given him too good a recommendation on Angie's list, though, because the next time I called him, I had a, uh, another section of fence I wanted to put up. He was so booked up. <laughs> he was booked up for months so I had in advance. <laughs> I said, okay, then I will go back to another car. It's funny you say that because I actually did reach out to um, Thumbtack. So I have um, somebody coming out for an estimate for there, um, which is similar to Angie's list. So yeah, yeah, I use Thumbtack too. Yeah. Um, yeah let me see. If anybody else has anything, go ahead and uh, speak up. I'm, a, I'm looking through my contacts here to see if I can find my fence guy. Melissa probably has somebody she can recommend. Uh, probably. Is she on today? I do not see her. No, I didn't either. So um, that's a good reference. I have her information, so I'll reach out to her. Yeah. Yeah. I got several contacts here well here's one yeah i have used them uh for watson fence uh 
Um, here's here's Adam's number from Watson Fest. They they've done a, a couple of things for me before I hooked up with this other guy. Um, a Watson fence is uh, 314-223-4177. Yeah, they've done a number of things for me over the years too. I wanna say they, I wanna say they were busy when I got connected with this other guy and uh, I, let's see, I got another guy here. I don't have, I don't recall doing business with him though. Anyway, yeah, I got a couple of fence references. Yeah, Watson is the only one that I know has done business with me. So yeah, I, I, I give them a, a shout out and uh, we can help you out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah, see John John put the uh, the link to the YouTube video for our February when we had uh, Peter Hoffman. And Tony speaking. If you want to go back and review that, uh, that's what uh, we're going to have. Uh, I think Peter's probably going to be there, somebody in, from his office. And uh, uh, Tony is a neighborhood advocate. They're going to have other neighborhood advocates and some developers uh, that'll be uh, talking on the, the day we do the, the bus tour. So, you know, I think we'll have, have a combination of some properties that are potential and then also some that are looking at some developers that are there going through their their current projects that are uh, they're, they're putting together in the, in the in process renovations so yeah that should be a good day okay well, I see Scott on here too. Scott Winkleman, he, he's an exterior contractor. I'm not sure if he does fences. I know he, he's talked about doing siding and roofing. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Do you, hey, do you do fences? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I, I don't do fences at the moment. Um, I've got um, possibly one guy I've, I've uh, kind of, uh, I think he did one for my sister. Um, Anyway, I could, if you send me an email, I could uh, look him up as well. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks though. But I, I don't personally do fences. But uh, I think I'm, was this Amber? I, uh, Amber, yeah, Amber. I jumped on late. Um, but yeah, is that the uh, that rear um, parking pad, Amber? Yes. Um, like I said, a couple of weeks ago during that big storm, it, I mean, it was like the big bad wolf was outside and, and down went that fence. Oh, really? Okay. Gotcha. Are you looking for, um, was it wood? Are you looking to maybe do the um, kind of a door, swinging door for parking? Um, I had not decided yet. Um, I just know my neighbors next door um, have a lot of dogs. <laughs> and so um, they have put in a makeshift I don't know. It's like drywall between our house or my fence in their their uh, yard. Um, so something needs to be put up quickly. So I was really only concerned about the fence. I wasn't really thinking about the the parking pad yet. Okay. I'll put my email in there. And these storms have been pretty fierce. I've really not been able to concentrate too much on real estate the last couple of weeks because of all the uh, calls for repairs and siding blown away and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing some extra repairs. I just met with my siding guy yesterday. I had a visit to my houses that had some vinyls blown loose. Oh, yeah. He took care of that for me uh, before it got any worse for the next windstorm. Got a hold of them and started ripping the whole side off. Yeah, you definitely want to get it, even, even if you can, um, you know, just get it nailed up there yourself until someone can do a proper repair so it, it doesn't flap and then rip in half. And then you got to mm -hmm. try to find something matching. <clears throat> can be a just hard to do on a 20 year old house, 20 or 25 year old house. Mm hmm. 
been there before. Of course, it came to my advantage one time we had hail damage that uh, they, it wasn't made anymore. So the insurance company ended up reciting the whole house for me because they couldn't match it. Yep, there's that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, if you're repairing it yourself, no, you want to try to get, get it before it gets any worse. Anyway, I see uh, um, Bill, uh, Bill Jones joined us. Uh, did you get uh, notified? Uh, I know you were signed up for the uh, seminar tomorrow. You got notification that we postponed that and uh, you got your refund. Yeah, okay, John John Collins talked about it earlier, so I didn't, wasn't sure if you were on. So yeah, we'll be announcing that later. Hopefully in September, we'll, we'll get that. Uh, we're gonna re reboot the uh, Real Estate Investing 101. Okay. Um, well, uh, nobody else has anything. Carrie, uh, you want to tell us about the new frontier? Since since you won't be able to talk to our group tomorrow, <laughs> I know you. I know John had you on the on the slate for speaking to our seminar tomorrow, but uh, since that's been post postponed, you want to unmute yourself and. Uh, yes. Good morning. Yes, morning. I'm disappointed about tomorrow. Yeah, but, um, I was too. Yeah, but I'm excited for the next opportunity to talk to all of you guys. Um, really, you know, um, right now, what I'm seeing is a lot of people just really need to check with their banks, um, make sure they don't have long invested securities, that they'll be around. Um, New Frontier is a very sound bank. Um, and, you know, check with the FDIC on what's insured in your bank, um, where your deposits are, make sure they're insured. Um, that's one of that's the top thing right now. Everybody's kind of wanting to make sure that all their funds are are um, secured after um, Silicon Valley fail. And that was actually based on they had long term investments and rates going up did not help them at all. So anyway, just know your lender, know your bank, uh, make sure they're sound. Um, I'm with New Frontier Bank. Our bank is is very sound. We have um, we're a community bank. We're not highly invested in long term securities at all. So um, you know we're doing we're doing really well. Um, so if you need anything, I'll put my information. Please let me know. Okay. Thank you for reminding us about that. Hey, hey, Carrie, I got a quick question here for you. What yes. do you think about the credit scores they announced this week as people with higher scores paying more and people with less scores paying less? What, what is your you thoughts? Know, and what are you hearing about that in the industry? Yeah, about the same, you know, how ludicrous that is. I mean, what's the world going to come to? Is, does nobody have to pay bills? I mean, I got bills. Everybody's got bills. If we don't have to pay them to get better deals. Then what's the flip side? So I don't think that's going to go. I don't see the rationale behind that. I don't understand that. Um, where they're going with that. I mean, I think the handouts and the help outs for people who um, may not properly manage their finances has got to come to an end. Um, I don't think that our economy can continue to bail out people that make bad decisions. Not that we all don't, we all have. It's just that you have to make sure that you know you are putting yourself in a position not to be on that end. Um, credit scores are a big thing. There's far more things involved um, in commercial lending, obviously, than credit scores. But, um, you know, on the consumer end, yes, debt to income and consumer and your FICO scores are really what's what motivates the lender to move forward with you. So um, I still encourage everyone to pay their bills. Um, but other than that, let's let's keep this on the on the first on the forefront because I'm interested in the rationale, honestly. Yeah, well, I yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. I was just reading an article by uh, Dennis Norman uh, about that, and actually, the, the headline itself kind of grabbed that's what grabbed my attention too. Uh, but actually, it sounds like they're just adjusting some of the percentages of of uh, additional fees. Are they add-on fees that are on what's it, uh, 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 Jenny May and Freddie Mac, or the or the two big lenders that were were considering that doing that? 
but it's just, uh, I forget how, how he explained it. There, if you, you the, the borrower with a better credit score will pay less fees. He's just gonna pay a little more fee than he would have before this goes into effect. It's like, and it, I suppose it's gonna go into effect on May 1 from, from way, I, the art, way I read the article. That if you make a, make a uh, if a good credit score person is applying for a loan, he'll pay more if he waits till January, till now May, May 1st and, and applies. Whereas someone with a poor, they, they, I mean, in his example, he was using like a, a seven, 750 or 780 score as a good score, or and somebody with a 630 uh, credit score, where right, right now the fee is the fees are much higher, and I think you, you uh, I forget what the example was. Say so go, going from a a a, a a half a percent extra, they're they're only going to pay. A quarter of a percent extra, so their fee would be going down, whereas the uh, person on the on the high end would be paying, you know, going from paying nothing to paying an eighth eighth of a eighth of a point, something like that. So it's still going to be a big big difference. And they were, there was actually a bigger spread in the percentages that he, he gave it on his real life. He had a real life example. Of what these are I just now. put a link in there that may help okay. here, Lloyd. Okay. Um, it's under, here's what Yahoo Finance said. On Yahoo? Okay. It's, it said under the, uh, under the rule, home buyers with credit score of 680 or higher will reportedly have to pay about $40 per month more than people with worse credit when, they, when taking out a home loan of $400,000, according to News Nation, which cited a report from the Washington Times. The rule goes into effect May 1st, 2023, just ahead of the peak spring buying season. It will impact mortgages from private banks. It goes on to say there, but high, high credit um, consumers with scores ranging from 680 to 780 will see a spike in mortgage costs. The New York Times, or the New York Post, excuse me, reported with the biggest increases being felt by those who put 15 to 20% down on a home. It goes on to say some more stuff, so I put the link in there so you can you can kind of read what they reported on it. But that's some stuff coming up that's going to affect a lot of us. It looks yeah. like yeah, okay, that's yeah. I think Yahoo might be just grabbing the grabbing the headlines from somebody else's articles uh, and referencing. But uh, Dennis Norman, where I where I read it, uh, he he's an actual lo local realtor that has a um, puts out a weekly update on the St. Louis market. And he's, yeah, I thought he had a little better explanation for it. So. Anyway, um, if you're gonna be applying for a loan, maybe get it in real quickly, I don't know. Is it too late today, <laughs> Gary, to get an application in? I look at my calendar. Oops, no. Sunday is the end of the month, so Monday is the first. So probably too late if you're going to get a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan. So. Okay. Anyway, anybody else got anything for us? Looking for uh, some other services. Um, Take care of your rental your rental properties or doing a rehab. Or got a question related to property management. We've got uh, Stacy Lowe here from Soto Property Solutions. I said uh, they were she was one of our speakers last at uh, it was just last week, week before last. No, it was just last week. Week ago Tuesday. So uh, and I was giving her and David praise for coming on every Friday and uh, fielding questions on property management because as landlords, a lot of us, uh, we uh, occasionally run into problems that, uh, that we haven't run into before. So somebody who's been a professional property manager might run into them every day and have a quick answer for some of our concerns. We appreciate her coming on. Thank you.
But nobody's got any questions today, huh? Okay. Hey, Lord, uh, this is Bill. I <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. Hi, hello, and how's everyone doing today? Hey, I uh, I did hear you early. I actually forgot to unmute myself, so I was actually talking to myself there and did, <laughs> didn't know it. But yeah, I did get the information on the uh, canceled, uh, uh, you know, the, the the training. So just want you to know I, I did receive okay. it. Okay, uh, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, and... Uh, Good information there on man. I, I guess I can just stop working on my credit then. No, just, uh, just really. But uh, yeah, Carrie, I probably give you a a, a shout and just to touch bases. Uh, you know, some information we talked about. I ended up actually just uh, wholesaling that one Berkeley deal. Uh, you know, just kind of partnering with Laura Lennington with that, and um, but. Uh, Anyone else? I, I do have a, um, a four bedroom, two bath um, in Florissant that I'm currently in the process of uh, finishing up. Uh, not doing a total rehab on it, but um, going to probably let it go for around one one twenty nine or so. Um, yeah, but like I said, four bedroom, two bath. Uh, it's uh, ninety five Lynn Meadows out in Florissant, just to give your head up. And I will be probably listing that after I get the fluorescent inspection in a, in a couple of weeks. I think they're a couple of weeks backed up on inspections, but finishing up a little work there, uh, painting and things. And uh, so we'll be listing that with uh, uh, Grant Hickman once I'm done with that. But just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad uh, Laura Lennington could help you out on your other one that you wholesaled. Yeah, she's been great, really. She really has. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she's a good resource. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got anything for us? Well, must be a slow news day, other than the news about the the uh, changes in the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uh, going on with credit scores. Yeah, I might read that Yahoo article, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know if, if I've got the uh, Dennis Norman. Let me see if I can find his his uh, link to his article. Maybe I'll put his in here too. Okay, pulling it up here. Let me go ahead and copy. And okay, now we got to get back into the. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I put it in the chat, but I can talk now. Uh, did so? Did Berkeley actually did eliminate that? rental requirement they had at one time where it was like couldn't be more than a certain amount of rentals I guess in an area uh, um I don't know anybody anybody know anything about that John I heard they got rid of it but I don't I don't know for sure if that's true or not so I'm that's not much help but I heard that it was not in place anymore <laughs> the same thing as Stacy. Yeah. I hate to say because you know. Yeah, who knows for sure if it's true or not. But yeah, I heard that that they got rid of that rule, but 
I, I don't know for certain. Right. Yeah, I've heard it too. Yeah. But. Okay, and I did just uh, post uh, Dennis Nor the Dennis Norman's uh, article, the link to it. Uh, it gave a little more explanation of the uh, the changes in the and how the rules were going to work. So he thinks that, that the headlines are a little misleading, making you think that it's somebody with a high credit score is going to pay more in fees than kind of with somebody with a lower credit score. And actually, it's just an adjustment from what you pay today versus on May May first. The uh, person with less lower credit score and with less down payment will be paying paying higher fees for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Okay, well, nobody has anything else? I don't. Um, you got any last, last minute words, John? I'm gonna get back to starting out my details on uh, my kitchen project. You may wanna mention the next meeting. We, um, oh, uh, yeah. Maureen was, uh, McConnell was here last, McDonald, excuse me, was here last week. Yeah talking about some of the proposed landlord changes and the things, the tenant rights basically is what she's doing. Uh, we we kind of had some conversations with her and she is going to come and give us some more details on that at our, um, at our next meeting on May, what is that? The 16th, I believe. So you may, want to mark, you may, may, uh, let's see. Yeah. 16th. You may want to mark your calendars for that. That will be at the Moolah Shrine Center over on Fifi. We'll have more information coming out about that as it develops. And it, this is the, all developing as we speak. So um, that's something we all need to be aware of, especially those of us that are landlords. And um, I know I know uh, Stacy and, and you guys will be up on some of that kind of stuff too uh, with, with uh, Soto Property Solutions, because that's something that directly affects you as, as, as well as the rest of us too. So um, mark your calendars now, and if you can show up um, on location, please do so. If not, we will we will be streaming it on Zoom again. But it's always best to be there in person and um, and have your questions ready because if you're a landlord, you want to know what's going on as much as you know the rest of us. So uh, she's uh, graciously agreed to come and, and speak with us in more in depth. Um, if you haven't seen what she talked about last week, you may, may want to go back and watch the replay. From last week, it's in the member section on STL RIA. Of course, we have that on YouTube. So um, that's some uh, some things coming up. So that, that's about all I, I would like to say. Yeah. Just okay. invite you to that, so. yeah, that's right. And that and if you're a landlord, uh, especially in the city of St. Louis, yeah, you you definitely have a vested interest in in hearing what she has to say and getting your input. Like she she wants to speak to uh, landlords and get input from us. So not just having a uh, questions for her, but uh, you know, having your input. Uh, if you had some questions came up, just hearing what you had last week and um, you thought about it some more and it really got some comments to make. She is collecting comments from uh, landlords in the city, especially. And uh, uh, and if you're not a landlord in the city, you know, it's probably coming to the county next. If it gets a foothold in, in the yeah. And Actually, so I'm um, part of I'm part of the advocacy committee for the St. Louis Realtors, and I'm part of this landlord tenant housing alliance. So, if anybody has anything to, you know, if they miss the meeting um, next week and don't get to talk to her, I'm going to have direct contact with her. Um, so, if anybody has anything they want to pass along, I, I can gladly help pass it along to her as well. And um, they are starting it in certain counties. I know Maplewood has um, a group together trying to do um, also prevent or present Maplewood with a tenant bill of rights as well. So it's definitely starting already to get into the county. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you know, if anybody, yeah, needs, I'll, I'll try to give some information that I get from, uh, we have a meeting, uh, housing alliance meeting next Tuesday. Um, so I'll also be involved in that as well, just to let everybody know. 
Thank you, Stacy. Would you like to give uh, any contact information that you would like to share here? You can put yeah. it in the chat if you don't mind uh, mentioning it uh, verbally. That would be very helpful. And then, yeah. so if anybody has any questions, they could deal with you. And and also, if you have not watched uh, Stacy and David's uh, uh, event when they were out at, with us last month at live on location at the Mulai, do so. It's um it is in the member section and on on our. Um, on our YouTube channel, because it is very important to, that you know, even if you do, you know, if you're a landlord, you want to make sure you deal with people and know, you know, who's up on on what's going on, because if you don't know, that's that's what gets you in trouble. So yeah, we exactly. appreciate that, Stacey. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I put it in the chat, but then uh, my office line is 636-305-3388. Um, and I'm extension 311, and my email is Stacy S-T-A-C-Y, at S-O-T-O-P-S dot com. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Great. Thank you, Stacey. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Good uh, Good to know you're on that committee, and you can give us any and keep us up to, up to date on any, any uh, goings on there. I appreciate that. Yeah, and also uh, um, our uh, May networking breakfast is coming up too. Before that, on the second Tuesday, um, at, from seven to nine at the Shack in Creep Four. Open to see you again there, Bill. Bill Bill Jones was there last, last month. Going to be able to make it for breakfast on that May May the ninth. I have it on my calendar, so yes, I plan on right. being there. Yeah, see. <laughs> Bill enjoyed his time with us, so uh, yeah, take his word. Most, mine, yeah. most definitely. Come on, out, come on out for breakfast on the ninth. Yeah, that was a great breakfast too. I tell you. Oh yeah, they they spread. that's that's their special. They only, they only do breakfast and lunch. So yeah, it's very well. Yeah. Okay. Well, if nobody has anything else, uh, thank you all for coming in today and joining us. Hope to see you next week on uh, either breakfast and, and uh, special ed next uh, on the 16th, May 16th. So y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.